News alert. Serious questions after a chemical scare forces the evacuation of Skyview Academy at Highlands Ranch today. Five people taken to the hospital. Classes canceled for the day. 7 News reporter Lindsay Sablon there live. And Lindsay, right now, investigators aren't sure if this was an accident or something else. Mike, Douglas County Sheriff deputies are working with this charter school right now to figure out just that. In the last hour, I talked to a spokesperson here. She tells me that school will be back in session tomorrow, but the classroom where all of this happened will remain closed while Hazmat is still working in there. Parents and children seen evacuating Skyview Academy at 1030 this morning after Douglas County Sheriff's Office responded to a call a chemical device went off inside a classroom. And then I heard teachers yelling, you know, go outside, go out on the field or find your third period uh, teacher. Students tell 7 News it was after third period when they were told to run outside. We talked to one student whose friend was burned. The kid had lithium and was putting it in the water bottles and shaking it up. The bomb squad and an ambulance also responding to the school. Uh, my, my friend got hurt and then my, this other guy got a chemical burn on his leg and then it like slipped through his clothing and they got, inhaled it. My best friend inhaled it. Ten people were checked out by medical crews. Four students and one teacher were taken to the hospital. It was more chemical type respiratory type issues. By early afternoon, all 1,200 students and staff had been evacuated. The sheriff's office says there weren't threats prior to the incident, but is investigating if this was accidental or malicious. And one of those students we talked to just texted me saying that her friend who was in the classroom who was injured was just released and was burned on her hands, her face, and her eyes. Now, tonight, all activities have been canceled here at Skyview Academy, but again, they say class will resume tomorrow. Reporting live in Douglas County, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News.